Thank you. Mr. Goncharenko from the European Conservative Group. Thank you. Mr. President, first my personal reaction to what I have heard from you. I just want to remind all of us that there was aggressive in 30s in Europe and there were attempts to pacify him and the result was great war and one of the first victims of this war was your homeland. And now the question from our group about the annexated Crimea. What should be done by the Council of Europe and international community to make Russia stop the uh, repressive policy and uh, deterioration of human rights situation in Crimea? Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful idea. But the political world is full of wonderful ideas. Some of them are even on political symmetry. So, I will quote a former German president who told publicly in Prague, if we try to take Crimea again and come return it to Ukraine, it would mean European war. I only quoted, nothing more. So, do you want to risk European war? Uh, well, Crimea is an action without any doubt. Crimea in the same time is uh, fait accompli. What are we to do? And this is the response for your second part of your question. Well, if there is a dialogue between Russia and Ukraine, I think, and it is only my personal view, that there would be possible some compensation for Crimea in financial form or in natural form, I mean oil or gas. This is only my personal proposal, nothing more. Respect that we try to avoid uh, European war and in the same time we try to compensate Ukraine. 